Asthma. Asthma is your body's way of overreacting to a trigger known as an allergen, or exercise, cold air, pollution, respiratory infections, and stress. If you were to suffer from this, your allergen could be anything from flower pollen to dust. You could be walking down a street lined with blossoming trees on a sunny spring day. The gentle breeze carries clouds of pollen your way. At first, you might just feel a slight tickle in your throat or some mild coughing as your body recognizes this harmless allergen. But for someone with asthma, it triggers an excessive inflammatory response. Your lungs' airways, which are normally relaxed and open for easy breathing, begin to overreact. The muscle bands around the bronchial tubes constrict, narrowing the airwaves. Simultaneously, excessive mucus starts building up, further obstructing the constricted passages. You begin gasping and find it increasingly difficult to catch your breath. As the asthma attack progresses, your chest feels tight like a heavy weight is pressing on it. Each each inhalation requires intense effort, but fails to pull in enough oxygen. You start coughing uncontrollably, trying to expel the mucus and open your airways, but to no avail. Panic sets in as your breathing becomes shallower and more complex. In a severe asthma attack, your bloodstream can lack the proper oxygen to supply vital organs. Left untreated, you might turn pale or blue from inadequate oxygen, experiencing dizziness or even lose consciousness. Diabetes. Diabetes is a chronic disease caused by the body's inability to produce or effectively use the hormone insulin, which regulates blood sugar levels by allowing glucose from food to enter cells and be used for energy. You see, whenever you eat food, the food provides energy in the form of glucose when broken down, but your body can't take up this energy without permission from the insulin to do so. Insulin tells your body how much and when to take up this glucose. There are two main types of diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease in which the immune system attacks and destroys insulin-producing cells in the pancreas so that you don't produce insulin. Type 2 diabetes, the more common form in which the body either doesn't produce enough insulin or doesn't use it effectively, a condition known as insulin resistance. Unlike type 1, which is mainly genetic, Type 2 is linked to lifestyle factors like being overweight, inactive, and having a poor diet. As of 2021, 537 million adults aged 20 to 79 worldwide were living with diabetes, about one in every 11 adults worldwide. According to the International Diabetes Federation, this number is expected to rise to 783 million by 2045. Your body's organs are very delicate, meaning a rise in anything they're not using Used to, they will and shall often react badly. Patients with uncontrolled diabetes via insulin shots or drugs can develop issues such as diabetic neuropathy, where the sugar damages the nerve's distal, farther parts of your body. Over time, you lose sensation in your fingers and feet, so the next time you receive a random injury on your foot, which is a lot, you never notice, meaning over time the injury will become infected and the toes will have to go. Uncontrolled diabetes is insane, as it can cause anything from blindness and kidney failure to an increased risk of heart disease. Remember, you do not have to be overweight to develop type 2 diabetes. As long as your lifestyle is unhealthy, there's always that risk. And once it starts, there's no going back to a careless lifestyle, as you'll constantly need to monitor your sugar ranges every day after every meal. Hypertension. Hypertension is when the force of blood pushing against the artery walls is consistently too high. The body's blood vessels are a connected system of pipes powered by a single pump, the heart. Should your arteries become narrowed or rigid over time, they force the heart to work harder to pump blood through them. If left uncontrolled, hypertension can lead to severe and potentially life-threatening health issues. With the cause being anything from an unhealthy diet, smoking, stress, or even genetics, according to the World Health Organization, an estimated 1.28 billion adults aged 30 to 79 had hypertension in 2019, with its most significant cause being obesity. With hypertension, it often shows no outward symptoms, earning it the name silent killer because in specific individuals with things called aneurysms, it is like a weak spot in a blood vessel that bulges out like a balloon. It can happen in any blood vessel in your body, but it's most common in the brain. Due to the high pressure, it can burst, causing severe problems like bleeding, a stroke, 
or even immediate death. Peptic Ulcer These diseases refer to painful sores or ulcers that develop in the stomach lining or the first part of the small intestine called the duodenum. As you can imagine, having wide open wounds in your stomach can be extremely painful and discomforting. These open wounds usually occur when the protective mucosal lining is damaged, allowing the stomach's digestive acids and enzymes to irritate and further erode the sensitive gut tissues. The two leading causes of peptic ulcers are infections with the Helicobacter pylori bacteria and long-term use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs NSAIDs, like ibuprofen and aspirin. NSAIDs reduce the amount of mucus in the stomach, reducing its protection from stomach acid. The Helicobacter pylori bacteria is good at one thing, weakening the protective lining of the stomach and small intestine. Once it infects the body, it breaks down this protective barrier, leaving the stomach and intestine vulnerable to the damaging effects of stomach acid. As a result, ulcers can form, causing discomfort and potentially severe complications, like eventually forming the early stages of cancerous growth. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, about 1 in 10 people develop a peptic ulcer at some point. However, luckily enough, with a thorough antibiotic treatment of about three to four drugs, H. pylori infections are usually eliminated and medications that reduce stomach acid levels will help reduce the pain. Pneumonia Pneumonia is an infection that inflames the air sacs in one or both lungs, filling them with fluid or pus and causing cough, fever, chills, and difficulty breathing. Viruses, bacteria, or fungi typically cause pneumonia, though bacterial pneumonia is the most common and severe form in adults. What could be a mild flu when left untreated can develop into the tiny air sacs of your lungs filling up with fluid and mucus from the infection, with less air being able to move in and out of the lungs with each breath. This makes it increasingly difficult for the lungs to oxygenate the blood properly. You begin to experience shortness of breath as your body attempts to draw in more air to compensate, with each breath getting harder and harder to catch. As the fluid and debris get worse, they can completely obstruct the small airways bronchioles, in some regions of the lungs. This shuts off those sections and prevents any air movement or gaseous exchange. As more lung tissue becomes damaged and oxygen levels drop, the heart has to work harder to compensate. If gas exchange becomes severely impaired across a large portion of the lungs, this could potentially lead to conditions like respiratory failure. Pneumonia can permanently scar the tiny air sacs, reducing overall lung capacity even after treating the infection. This is why prompt antibiotic treatment for bacterial pneumonia is crucial to limit lung damage as much as possible. Because of this, it is often called the child killer, as it accounts for over 2.5 million hospital admissions and about 672,000 deaths among children under 5 each year globally. Sickle Cell Anemia Sickle cell anemia is an inherited red blood cell disorder that affects hemoglobin, the protein that carries oxygen in the blood. It is caused by a mutation in the hemoglobin gene that causes the red blood cells to become stiff, sticky, and shaped like sickles or crescent moons. These abnormal sickle-shaped cells can get stuck in small blood vessels, blocking blood flow and oxygen delivery to tissues in the body. As you can imagine, when the blood vessels get swollen, it can lead to extreme pain. The sickle cells are also fragile and break apart prematurely, resulting in chronic anemia, a lack of blood. Both issues reduce the amount of oxygen going to tissues and organs so they cannot function properly. Approximately 300,000 infants are born with sickle cell anemia each year, and the prevalence is higher among those whose ancestors came from Sub-Saharan Africa, South America, the Caribbean islands, and Mediterranean countries because the genetic mutation that causes sickle sickle cell anemia is thought to have come from areas where malaria is or was once prevalent. People carrying one copy of the gene are less likely to develop severe forms of malaria, providing a survival advantage in regions where the disease is common. As a result, the gene became more prevalent in these populations over generations. Arthritis 
Arthritis is a general term for conditions that cause joint pain, swelling, stiffness, and decreased range of motion. It affects people of all ages, though risk increases with age. Even though arthritis is often seen as an old people disease, it affects people of all ages. The two most common forms are osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. Osteoarthritis is where the cartilage cushioning the ends of bones is gradually eaten away. And just like the wheels of a car, your joints are normally well-oiled and move smoothly. In arthritis, it's the bearings in the wheels that start to wear out. In osteoarthritis, the tires on the wheels wear down over time. Without enough tread cartilage, the wheels joints start to grind against each other, causing friction, damage, and a lot of pain as your bones rub together constantly. Rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disorder where the body's immune system mistakenly attacks the joints. This causes chronic inflammation inflammation that can damage cartilage, bone, and surrounding tissues over time. It typically affects smaller joints like hands, wrists, and feet in a symmetric pattern on both sides, causing a swan neck deformity appearance. There is no cure for most arthritic conditions, but treatments aim to relieve symptoms and improve quality of life. Urinary Tract Infections A urinary tract infection, or UTI, can occur in any part of the urinary system – the kidneys, ureters, bladder, or urethra. However, most infections involve the lower urinary tract, like the bladder and urethra. UTIs are very common, especially among women, because unlike men, the normal bacteria on their organs are extremely sensitive to changes like pH. Various bacteria strains can cause it. These bacteria typically enter the urinary tract through the urethra and begin to multiply, causing inflammation and infection. Sexual activity can almost always push bacteria closer to the bladder, increasing UTI risk. It would usually start with experiencing discomfort or irritation during urination, often accompanied by a persistent urge to urinate even when the bladder feels empty. This urge can be quite intense and frequent. Another symptom is a burning sensation or pain during urination. Bacteria are set up on the urethra causing inflammation and swelling. As urine is usually acidic, the pain can range from mild to unbearable. As the infection progresses, the urine may appear cloudy or reddish due to the presence of blood or pus. Left untreated, UTIs can lead to more severe consequences, such as acute or chronic kidney infections. Chronic kidney infections, if left unresolved, may result in permanent kidney damage, impaired kidney function, or even kidney failure over time. The good news is that as long as you notice these symptoms early, most of them can be treated with antibiotics. Migraines. They are more than just bad headaches. Migraines are an extremely incapacitating collection of symptoms, usually lasting between 4 to 72 hours if untreated. Here is a description of someone suffering from a severe migraine attack. You would usually feel the telltale signs of an impending migraine as you wake up, a dull ache building behind your eye, and a small visual disturbance creeping into your peripheral vision. This would be a migraine aura. Over a short time, the pain would rapidly intensify into a severe, throbbing headache concentrated on either side of the head. Even the faintest sounds, like a ringing phone or foot traffic outside, could cause extreme agony. And what's worse is a majority of these migraines rarely respond to over-the-counter painkillers, meaning you need more and more potent drugs over time. According to the Migraine Research Foundation, migraines affect over 39 million Americans and are the third most prevalent illness in the world. Unfortunately, there are no cures for this, but certain anti-migraine medications are shown to help. 